Hello! For this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make plugins in Unreal Engine 4 as game modules so you can make these plugins using the whole reload functionality. If you try to make plugins before you probably found that you can't use the whole reload functionality so we are going to make a workaround here. Let's start. I'm going to open the Unreal Engine editor three times so I can create three projects. The first one will be a project for creating a plugin as a game module. The second one will be a project so we can use it as an exporter for creating a plugin so we can upload this plugin in the marketplace for example. And the third project will be a tester project. We are going to use this project to test uh, the plugin so we make sure that everything is working okay. So I'm going to create the first project. It will be a C++ project. So we can make use this project to make the plugin as a game module. So go to C++ and it will be a blank project. So as you see I have my custom folder and I'm going to call this project plugin maker. Plugin Maker and the version of the plugin 4.16. I'm going to click Create Project. Now I'm going to create my second project. I'm going to call it Plugin Exporter, and you can see it is a C++ basic code project too. So create project. And lastly, I'm going to create a blueprint, blank project. So we are going to use this project for test the plugin. I'm going to call it Plugin Tester 416 and create project. So I'm going to open my Plugin Maker project and it is a C++ project of course. So I'm going to edit to plugins and here I can create a new plugin so I'm going to new plugin and you can see that you can create a, a lot of type of kind of plugins here um, you can see that there is uh, templates for creating plugins and in this case I'm going to create a game module plugin not an editor module so uh, let's choose blank you can use any other templates. In this case, I'm going to use blank. So click blank. So let's create a plugin. In this case, I'm going to name it CSW Utilities. And um, I'm going to fill the other options too. So I'm going to pause the video. So I'm going to create a plugin and let's wait. So the Visual Studio project will be opened after creating the plugin and you can see here that this project already has a default game module that is called Plugin Maker 416 and also has a plugin folder here. So uh, for now let's go to close this project. and close this and um, just in case I'm going to create a new blank C++ file inside the plugin folder so new C++ class uh, it will be an empty class so I'm going to click no and you must make sure that you create this C++ class inside the plugin folder so I'm going to choose CSW utilities and uh, right now I'm going to create this class inside the plugin so you can see that it creates a, a public and private folder and I'm going to name this class um, test so create class and let's wait and of course the Visual Studio project will open again so I'm just going to close it 
I'm going to go to my project folders and you can see here that these are my three projects I created so I'm going to dive inside the plugin maker and inside the plugins folder that was created when I created the plugin so I'm going to go inside and you can see here that this is the CSW utilities folder for the plugin I created but in this plugin maker I don't want to create a plugin in this plugin maker I want to create a game module because game module supports hot reload functionality while plugins don't so if I type inside my source folder you can see here that this project has a game module by default that is the, the same name as the project name so what we are going to do here is to convert this plugin to a game module so for that first let's go to the uh, plugin exporter in this plugin exporter we are going to use the plugin not the game module so for starting I'm going to cut this plugin folder I'm going to move it inside the plugin exporter I'm going to paste and this is an error because the project is open so I'm going to close the project so at this point inside the plugin exporter we have the plugin folder and the plugin maker we don't we don't so inside this plugin maker we want a game module so I'm going to dive inside my plugin folder inside the plugin you can see here that this is the plugin structure and this file uh, is the plugin uh, shows the plugin options and you can see if you open this file you can see that this plugin can have game modules so in this case uh, this plugin only has one module so I'm going to copy this folder because this is the folder of the module not the plugin so I'm going to cut this module and go back to my plugin maker folder and the source folder and I'm going to paste it so in this plugin maker now I have to I, I don't have plugins but I have two game modules so we can use this workaround to create game modules instead of plugins so we can use the hot reload functionality so inside the source file this source folder I have now two game modules the default and the CSW utilities and I'm going to use these CSW utilities to make my plugin so first I'm, I need to edit the files of the project so for that I'm just going to copy the name of my new plugin and I'm going to edit these two project files so in the first target file I'm just going to add a new string and this will be the string of our new game module you can add uh, more game modules here so in the second target I'm going to make the same thing I'm going to paste the name of my module so I'm going to close and now this project has two modules so I'm going to edit the module I created you can see here that it has a build CS file and this build CS file is used to generate binaries files for for this game module inside the intermediate folder so I'm going to open this build CS file and this code I'm going to just delete because I'm going to paste the code that it is working for me so delete and uh, the first lines will be the lines for speed up the compilation times I think these lines are default now in the 4.16 version but in case it's not default I, want, I like to use these two lines because in small projects the compilation times are faster uh, the second line will be the include what you use uh, lines 
this allows me to use the standard include what you use you can read more about this standard inside the Unreal Engine 4 documentation uh, one thing that I like about this standard is that it is the, the classes are more kind of generic so it is, is easier to copy and paste one class to one project to another project because I don't need to include the project name now I'm going to paste the dependencies and the first line will be the engine dependencies so you can add the dependencies you need here and these are the dependencies for the plugin so we need to change the name here I'm going to copy the name so at this point this plugin is able to recognize the public and private folders so we are going to use these folders to create the plugin so I'm going to save this file um, I'm going to close it. Uh, one thing I like to do here is to copy the private and public uh, folders, the default folders from the public plugin that they have the same name, they share the same name. And I ha I like to have these these three files um, in the root. So I'm going to use the private and public uh, folders to create the public function, the plugin functionality. So. Now inside the header file, I'm going to comment this code because this is the code for uh, creating a plugin. So I'm going to comment and I'm going to say use this code if developing a plugin. So when we are developing a plugin, we are going to uncomment the, co the, the code. And here I'm going to say use this if developing a game module. So I'm going to copy these two lines here. These are the default lines. So I'm going to save and close. And now I'm going to open the source file. I'm going to, in here I'm going to make something similar. So let's bring the source file. And I'm going to comment these default lines. I'm going to say use this if developing a plugin. And then I'm going to write um, use this if developing a game module. So I'm just going to copy and paste these lines for creating a game module. And here you can see that uh, it, it is implementing a primary game module. And this is very important because this primary game module supports hot reloading. And uh, we need to change the name here. So we are going to use the CSW utilities. And save and close the file. Now I will generate regenerate the files, the binaries files. So before that I like to before generating files I like to delete the intermediate folder, the binaries folder and the v, Visual Studio folder. So I'm going to generate files and you see that it generates a new folder files. So I'm going to open the Visual Studio project and uh, while generating there was no error so everything we wrote before was correct so I'm going to open the Visual Studio project and I'm going to compile the project view it and let's wait and uh, well uh, this is an error because Houdini engine is giving me some issues so I'm going to delete the Houdini engine plugin and now I'm going to review my project. So click review and everything is compiling correctly. So inside the project structure you can see that this project has two game modules. The default module and the CSW utilities module. So we are going to use this CSW utilities to create a, a plugin. 
and when we finish this plugin we are going to copy the, the module, the CSW module into our plugin exporter project so we are going to use the plugin exporter project to make a plugin that is uh, compatible with the marketplace and for finishing we are going to use the tester project, the plugin tester project for testing the plugin that everything is working correct for blank project so I'm going to wrap up this video now and in the next tutorial we are going to create the plugin inside this project so let's continue in the next tutorials thanks for watching